Hello and welcome to uh, the Leash Today video Christmas interview series um, and today I'm joined by Claire Conlon and Mags McAvoy, two greats of the Leash Ladies football <laughs> scene. They were telling me here uh, before we, we went on air that you're playing, like I don't know, my maths aren't great, but about 16, 17 years for the Leash Ladies senior football team. Yeah. You had a decision to make last year, Leash were relegated for the first time in, in, in generations last year. Um, Mags and you were left with a decision whether you'd, you'd, you'd given another year or not what you did yeah yeah I did so my first year as, I sa as you said earlier was in 2001 which was a great yeah. year um, I was 14 back then there was a couple of us there myself Maggie Murphy and Martha Kerwin were the, yeah. the youngest so yeah. yeah between 14 and 15 um, and yeah we've just been going ever since so last year I said obviously it's it's a big commute from Dublin yeah. and stuff but um Two years ago, I, I said I'd give it another shot. I hurt my knee that year. I was out for a good about three months. Started yeah. at the uh, at the start the first game in the league. Actually, I hurt it, so I was out for a long time. So that kind of added to the decision about going back as well as relegation. I kind of felt yeah. you know that leash were too good to be intermediate and needed to yeah. give it a good shot. So that's what kind of pushed me to go back this year to yeah. try and try and help them out and you know. Give you know some bit of my time back to them. Yeah. So thankfully, yeah, an enjoyable out. year this year. Yeah, yeah, really enjoyable. Yeah, yeah. So it was a tough, uh, you know, Division 2 is such a tough yeah. campaign for us, but, you know, a, a great one at that as well. Yeah. You know, you get great matches, very competitive, yeah. and it kind of sets you up for a good championship campaign, yeah. which it did for us, thank God, and yeah. came out, you know, Leinster champions yeah. in the end. Which it was, was a great day down in, in yeah. Dr. Cullen Park that day. Like, mm. you haven't had a massive amount of silverware. You were there since 2001. You won yeah. a couple of Leinster seniors yeah. and, and all that. But in recent years, there hasn't been a huge yeah. amount to celebrate. Yeah, there's definitely been a, a bit of a famine for, for yeah. Leash ladies um, in the last couple of years. But, um, you know, it just brought me back to those days yeah. that we beat du the likes of Dublin. We always, we always yeah. it was ourselves in Dublin, always in the seniors yeah. in, in Dr. Cullen. And for me, it's a really special place. Yeah. I, and I haven't step, stepped foot in it since, so yeah. um, from that time. So it was so nice to get back yeah. out there. It was a gorgeous day. Yeah. The support was great. Yeah. It was just a really, really good buzz yeah. going into that yeah. game, which was yeah. brilliant. It was around the course at the time as well that the men's team were, were going really yeah. well, and they were out every second week or whatever. But mm -hmm. you, that was the week after, I think the men's team were in the Leinster final. Yeah. And it was a, as you said, it was a really good buzz down yeah. in, um, yeah. you know, and of course you were playing that day as well, Claire. Yeah. Great to be sort of back winning Leinster titles, like even if intermediate probably isn't the grade you were like yeah, to be winning them at. I think you have to, like, even the year like last year, I was involved last year when we yeah. got relegated, and uh, you do like it's almost I think one of the reasons you would go back is probably we felt responsible because you do yeah. like we're the ones that got yeah. that weren't able to keep leash at that senior yeah. level. And I think I've, upon reflection, when we came down, we yeah. were very much maybe that's where we needed to go yeah. get a base again yeah. and build and go up. and like I think we'd be fooling ourselves if we if we didn't acknowledge yeah. that there is a huge gap yeah. uh, between the top teams. Probably not as uh, big as it is in the men's game yeah. at the moment. Like there's mm. all the issues there with the championships, yeah, yeah. suggestions Tears restructure. And, yeah. and, um, but the women's game already does that with having the senior, yeah. intermediate, and junior. I think it works well. Yeah. And then every year you can set an achievable target. Yeah. Our target this year was to get to an All Ireland. Yeah. So you know, there's there's built a lot more work still yeah. to go on at intermediate yeah. before we can go up w again. Would you view it as a disappointing season that you won Leinster but you didn't get to Croke Park? I think you, I think you have to. If you don't yeah. win, a, like if you set a, a like we do, we had three real targets all year. Mm. One was to maintain Division Two status. Yeah. We did that probably by the skin of our teeth. <laughs> yeah. Um, to win Leinster, cause yeah. you know it's the right That's platform. Yeah, yeah. But ultimately, it was to it was to line out in Croke Park in yeah. September, and we didn't do that. Yeah. So. Yeah, you can come away with it and be happy, and like it's, you can never, um, you can never look at a, an achievement and not be happy yeah. with it that we got this year with a Leinster championship. Yeah. Um, but the, yeah, yeah. the All Ireland is the big one. It's yeah, probably yeah, the yeah. one that would uh, draw you back in okay. another year, and that's yeah. why you go back every year yeah. to get yeah. to Pro Park, isn't it? Yeah. 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 yeah, What are your memories of two thousand and one? God, <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a long time ago, but I actually remember it like it was yesterday. It's um, it's it was. Uh, uh, an amazing day, you know, yeah. probably the highlight of my, of my career, and I've had many a special day out with yeah. the as well. But um, definitely one that I'll remember forever. But yeah, it was it was a strange morning. Yeah. We got up, and you know, the, like nowadays, you you kind of go up the night before. Yeah. But that morning we went up, and 
you know, like in true Goggy Delaney fashion, we kind of stopped in Julie's on the way, got breakfast, <laughs> full on fries. So there was no porridge and yeah, fruit yeah, at that yeah, stage. Yeah. So Protein shakes or anything. Yeah, none of that, no. It was uh, good old fashioned fries. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I remember just not having any nerves on the yeah. day, obviously, because I was away off the... Uh, the squad, but still lovely to be involved. Yeah. So we stopped in Bewley's and, and uh, got a guard escort from there on yeah. in and, you know, turned off the phones, just... Probably was no phones back then. No, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anybody that, that I didn't have, certainly have any phones. <laughs> My parents knew where I was, so... Yeah. Um, no, so we just got there and I remember um, Mary Ramsbottom giving out the jerseys yeah. and, you know, it's just such an awe of, yeah. of the facilities, even. Yeah. We'd never been in there before, yeah. so... And then we went out for the the first the second half of the, of the the game before it and came back in and just the excitement the buzz yeah. it just felt right it just felt like yeah. our day you know there was so yeah. many that girls there that had Lots all so many. left behind yeah. them and it was just such experience and such passion you know in in the dressing room that it just absolutely felt right yeah. you know and like of course we, we remember how it was won with Mary Kerwin's free yeah. in the last minute and all that. Yeah. The, the scenes and the celebrations and the homecoming afterwards yeah. must have been just incredible to experience. Amazing, like I, I mean, I remember just standing on the sideline and I was actually standing beside Lulu. Lulu came off maybe ten or fifteen minutes yeah. from the end, as as in pure Lulu style as yeah. well. He always used to take her off the last ten minutes, <laughs> but uh, no more gave everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah, gave everything that she could, and then so I was standing beside Lulu, and you know Mary got that free and just kicked it over and. You know, I don't think there was probably a dry eye in the house. We yeah. just ran on. And it's just yeah. pure emotion, you yeah. know. And then, yeah, the scenes um, the next day, you know. Yeah. And like that, it was nothing fancy. We were in our tracksuits. Yeah. And it was like, you know, it was just one yeah. of those things. But, you know, it was just, it was amazing. And the bond that we had yeah. from that. And we still do, you know. There's groups upon groups uh, going out. And, you know, you still yeah. have that bond and yeah. that, that memory from yeah. that day. So it was great. I suppose, like, lady sport has its own struggles and it, it struggles for attention and struggles for coverage and all of that. But, like, the friendships seem particularly strong. And you've played soccer mm -hmm. and ladies' football and that, Claire. Yeah. It, it has to be the, the, one of the, the, the best yeah. things from it. Yeah. It yeah. is. It, it's what? It's the reason. It's the main reason you mm -hmm. go back and you go yeah. training and yeah. you, you get up and you have morning training sessions. We, with Sarsis, we would train yeah. most, most certain mornings at 8 o'clock or mm -hmm. half 7, yeah. trying to suit girls at work, work and stuff. Yeah. You don't do that because God, I'm dying to go and run around the pitch. Yeah. You do it because the girls go there. Yeah. You'll have a bit of banter when you're mm. there, and by the end of it, you're happy enough and you're working towards a, a collective yeah. goal with with the sport as well. Yeah. But yeah, you'd be lying if you didn't say it was. Yeah. It's, it's predominantly about the friendships, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Like I suppose you've both played quite a lot of sport. Claire, your your sporting background, like you, you've played mm. soccer at a high level. Yeah. You've played with, what what. It, What's your earliest sporting memories? Like, how, wh where did it all start for you? Like, yeah, or? it starts at home. Yeah. It? I, I come from a house that's uh, football, football Mad. crazy. Yeah, yeah. I use football as in Gaelic now, it's yeah. not, not soccer. <laughs> um, but we would have played in the back garden yeah. the whole time. I, the, the lads were always obsessed. With Many my brothers have, you have four, four, four brothers. brothers. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, my dad was obsessed, so yeah. I would have been playing out in the back garden with yeah. them all the time. Um, and then The Rock, The Rock yeah. is where it all started with for me. Yeah. Um, that's where I spent all my childhood yeah. just down there training and okay. playing with them. Where did soccer come in? Soccer, I well, like I think everyone knows, like when you're playing free yeah. play in your back garden, it's, it's it always soccer. tended to be soccer. Yeah, it? yeah. So, um, I got I just got curious about it, yeah. and uh, uh, I think when I was around ten or eleven, I found out that Mount Melick had a team, okay. Mount Melick United. So I, of course, I was already probably training a couple of nights a week yeah. between schools yeah, and yeah, then yeah. Gaelic, but yeah. I I was just I was just addicted to sports, okay, so yeah. I went down and. Like I was, it turns out it's fairly, yeah. fairly okay at it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and even at the time, at that time, then I would have went through the different teams yeah. within Mount Manic United, and then onto what would be now the the Gainer Cup, which okay, is like yeah, a big, the regional uh, thing. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, competition would have got onto that squad. Yeah. And Jordan was at the time. Oh, yeah. He he works with the men's seniors yeah. now. Um, he uh, was the development officer at the yeah. time, and. He obviously must have seen me, so yeah. I got a, I got a call up then to okay. to go for trials. Well, so Played Ireland, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What did you prefer, the soccer or the, the ladies' football? <laughs> <laughs> I said it, Mags. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, look, I I've always said it like um, in terms of playing the actual the actual game. You, you know, I probably would feel more comfortable playing yeah. um, Gaelic. Okay. Mainly, well, like I'm a forward in Gaelic, yeah. while I'm a I'm a left full yeah. in, in soccer. soccer yeah. Completely different position. But I like the. I prefer playing Gaelic. Yeah. But training wise, I'll always I pick soccer. Okay. Why is that? Just the, um, I suppose the coaching the styles, structures and the structure, yeah, yeah. the training sessions. 
I like I'm, I'm just after actually coming from doing my yoga FAB license okay, this weekend. Yeah. So I'm, I'm getting into the. Of course, you work full time with the FAI. Yeah. FAI as well. Yeah. So, um, I just love the structure. Yeah. The, it's the football fitness. Yeah. I love it. Like, okay. I Mags and Alan who knows me knows I hate running. <laughs> I'm allergic to warm ups. <laughs> so, yeah. um, yeah, that's it's just that like you go and you'll do a ninety minute session with soccer and yeah. you won't even realize how much okay, you've done. Yeah. It's just it's it's just more the ball sessions are so good. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, uh, What's your earliest sporting sort of involvement or memories? Mags? Yeah, so I would have played a lot underage with yeah. so my family's the big was now yeah. uh, family. So yeah, I would have played underage with the lads, yeah. mainly hurling. So yeah. I didn't uh, come to Sarsfields until the boys kicked me out. So. Okay. <laughs> because so, that's one of the things that girls yeah, sort of have to do is yeah. they have to play with boys teams yeah, in some yeah. places if there's no girls team. Like, yeah, yeah, unfortunately there was no girls team in, in Rosenhouse at, at that time. Yeah. So you know the only kind of club that I could play with was with the boys yeah. so I did I played with them up until what under 14 yeah. or until maybe I was 15 um, and then I went and joined yeah. Sarsfields but yeah I suppose my first memory would have been um, the Fela going yeah. away with the Fela with Sarsfields okay. and then I played Camogie with Leash at the time as well and I won a, a minor B All Ireland yeah. with them as well so um, a little bit I mean I covered a lot when I was younger not yeah. as much now because okay. I'm not Leash based but yeah. um Back then, we were, you know, very active every yeah. evening, so, you know. Is access to girls' sport easier now for young girls getting into sport than it was when you were starting out? Yeah, maybe. I mean, even in our own club, you know, Saracens, you go down there on a, on a Saturday or even yeah. a midweek and there is tons yeah. of girls there, which yeah. is fantastic yeah. to see. And, and the work that the, the club have put into, you know, helping out the mentors and coaches yeah. and getting them involved. And there's a lot of parents that are back involved, which is yeah. great, but it's it's probably, the access is probably not the thing, it's probably just keeping them involved. So yeah. from moving from, you know, secondary school into college, and yeah. when the girls get away, like we've experienced it this yeah. year with Leash and stuff, it's very hard for, you know, to ask those girls to come back, back yeah. with their, on their own money, because I mean, obviously ladies clubs yeah. are, are not as, you know, fruitful as, as the guys yeah. club. So to ask the girls co come back on their own expense, it's really, really hard. Yeah. So. It's just keeping them involved, okay. but it is the access is definitely much better um, yeah. for the girls, so it's good. Yeah, yeah. it's improving. Is it frustrating, like you know, that ladies' football they struggle for facilities and and coverage and all that? Does that get does that get to you? Does that is that a bugbear? Yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Like it's just like yeah. What's the what's the most? The just just not getting the, like the best teams should be on the best pitches. Yeah. So. Um, we there's a perfect facility up the road yeah. up there, and we we were there maybe three times last year. Mm. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, and the women's yeah. team we pay for that privilege. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, yeah. While all the male county teams, because they're under the GA banner, under the yeah. banner, they mm. get the, the free use of those yeah. services. And like we like we not not to, um, taken away from Anna Knock. Like, yeah. We would be lost for Anna Knock. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's a great year, facility. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah. The, 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 it's basically a second home yeah. for us. We, it's nice having that structure actually the last that few same years we've place had that, that structure region, where yeah. you're like we know exactly what time we need to be work at yeah. to meet the red cow to get to that point while when you're when you're ducking and diving with different venues, venues yeah. your time had to change yeah. just for leaving work you know yeah and like most times you like if you had to if they move to training you might have to leave work early yeah. which and the facility, you know, the facilities there have been great, so yeah. they have been great to us. But yeah, it's just a frustration. Yeah. We're not. Yeah. It, it's not a, a level playing field yeah. for both of us, so we can't complain that much. But yeah. it's just uh, dedication and commitment wise, yeah. we are on the same yeah, level. Yeah. So that's frustrating, yeah. you know. But and look, and that's yeah. the, and maybe it's a, it's, a, it's a wider conversation in terms yeah. of governance. You know, yeah. at the end of the day, they like, should be under the same banner. They should be and under that's the same. It, like, yeah, yeah. There's all that stuff on, uh, you know, over the McManus yeah. money, like. It was money for the GA club. Yeah. It's not the GA's fault. Yeah, 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 yeah. They want to stay yeah. standalone. That's yeah. that's yeah. a decision that they've made as as a governing body, yeah. um, for the better of their yeah. association. So, you know, if I'm sure the conversations have have, have been, been had, yeah. and hopefully something will come from it. But yeah. Yeah. until then, we could, we can just be annoyed about it. But yeah. There's nothing you can really do. Yeah. The yeah. GA is is, yeah. is, is yeah. their own, is body. Yeah. own governing body. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. 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 we could stay talking about that and even even coverage of ladies' sport and all that. But Mags, mm. you let me in on a secret here before you started. <laughs> <laughs> you got to tell the world. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't plan on doing this. But <laughs> no, I and look, I've just you know, I think um, last year was such a great year, and personally for me. You know, um, we had such a, a, a disappointment at the start of the year with Lauren yeah. Marie, you know, having that another cruise ship, which 
you know, sh such a tragic for incident for yeah. the, the for herself and for the county yeah. and for our club as well, obviously, because she's a club member. But um, you know, I was um delighted and you know happy to step into that role yeah. as captain for the year, and as well as that, being privileged with the the club captaincy yeah. um and another county title. So you know, for me personally, last year was was a great year, both club and county, but. You know, with work and, and other commitments and yeah. stuff, I just felt like you know um, I needed to finish last year. Yeah. And You're retiring, in other words. So I'm retiring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a big deal. Let's not make it. A oh, big that deal. is a big deal, though. No, like you've been playing yeah. for Leash for years. Oh um, yeah, no, I have, and like what you said earlier, you know, for me, Leash is. Um, it's just about the friendships and I yeah. love obviously playing and I love the sport but anybody who has ever known me yeah. would know that I love playing for Leash like yeah. I love my my club and the girls are, are you know my childhood friends yeah. but I also have amazing friends with Leash yeah. like the likes of Maggie that I've played with all of my life yeah. and Martha you know yeah. so I've built up an awful lot of friends and with the new girls that have come yeah. come in with Quiva Sims and all that you know I have I have great friendships yeah. that I will cherish, but yeah. you know I think it's probably I wouldn't like to go back in if I couldn't give it my okay. my all. And, and you're happy with your decision. To yeah, retire, I am, yeah, yeah. And I think you you know when you you get to that stage, you you know last year I felt like it probably wasn't the right time for okay. me, you know. So yeah. I think this time it is. Yeah, you'll miss it. Absolutely, yeah. yeah, yeah. And look, they have a great setup this year, and you kind of always like what Claire said earlier. You always go back in hoping to to get the best out of the year, and last year. Our goal was the All Ireland yeah. um, title, and unfortunately, we didn't get there. And in a way, a part of me kind of, you know, would love to go back in and love yeah. to, because I do Good feel that there is an intermediate All Ireland yeah. there for the mm. for the girls. But I just wouldn't be able to go back in, yeah. you know, fifty to eighty yeah. percent. And uh, you know, they have a great setup, and I know that the girls yeah. that are gone back in will bring Leash to the next level. But it's yeah. probably time for somebody okay. else to. I know you. You don't like this title, but you're a veteran, also, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Uh, what, what, what's, what's your thoughts on, on uh, your future with Leisha? Yeah, look, in my situation is a little bit different to Mags. Is in um, I've been struggling with uh, a back injury for okay. the last was it three, three years, three, yeah. three years now. Yeah. So, yeah. um, like that, like this year, even with Sarsfields, I missed the county semi final. Yeah. My back was in spasm, <laughs> so you know, I, yeah. I was lucky enough to get back for the county okay. final and that. So, at the moment, I have to just um, concentrate on getting. Yeah. I suppose a good quality of life would be back. <laughs> yeah. Um, so first I'm, things first, like. Yeah. yeah. You know, so it's just yeah. So I'm trying to get the basically yeah. get a uh, good rehab, good okay. over the winter months, and uh, you know definitely going back in with Sarah's but yeah. anything extra. Okay. Um, it's a decision. Be a decision. To okay. Do yeah. Well, look, we I uh, saw you down in Carlow that day. You were running the show from centre back, and you were running the show from centre forward. Mm -hmm. You'll definitely be a loss to leash. <laughs> um, You've played for Ireland, you've played for Leash, you've played Camogie, you've played everything. You've so many county medals between you, I'm not even going to try and count them. So, uh, but look, I want to thank Mags McAvoy, Claire Conlon, two greats of Leash Ladies Football for coming into us today. Thank you for watching us on YouTube, on Facebook and on the Leash Today site. <laughs>